Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be doing some more Easter and spring DIYs all from the dollar store. Like I said, you could purchase everything from the Dollar Tree except one thing, but you could really use something else if you chose to. But I picked up two of these vases and some twine and I'm just going to wrap the twine all the way around the vase. I'm going to use some spray adhesive. I think spray adhesive is the best way to go when you're going to wrap twine around a glass vase, especially with like weird little areas like this one. And I know you need a well ventilated area and I was totally okay and no kids were around me while I did this. So I use a spray adhesive and I just used it on a sheet and just sprayed. So my floor was completely covered with this. But anyways, I just took the twine and just wrapped it all the way around. No rhyme or reason, but I just took it and I like it when it looks a little bit thicker. And I like when the twine's not completely straight. I think that looks really cool. So I just did that with this one and I just wrapped it around till it was completely full. And then I just added some Dollar Tree floral. I love this little spring colors like with the yellow and the purple and the green. I think it looks so pretty and this was such an easy DIY and this only cost me three dollars to make. I was going to make two and one of my vases completely broke. <laughs> Next DIY is I'm going to be making this yarn wreath. I bought this yarn and I had no idea what I was going to use it for. And I had this foam wreath laying around, I think, since Christmas. And I did this the very longest way possible. And I took yarn and wrapped it nicely around this whole entire wreath. So if you have a whole day's worth, this is probably your go-to thing. If you have like hours, this probably took me an hour to do. It was so long. I could not believe how long it took. I like took breaks in between and had to just keep going. And this was like my exciting moment when I was like halfway through. I even think I started like laying down on the floor to do this because it it just took so long. I took some of these greeneries again from the Dollar Tree. I love the purple and the pinks in this one. I think they're so pretty and I just cut them up and hot glued them to the bottom of the wreath and then I took some of the little green leaves off of this and just hot glued it over the top so it covered all of the hot glue. <laughs> This last DIY, I'm just going to take this Easter decor egg and some reindeer moss and I'm just flipping the little sign over and taking all of this hot glue and just gluing the reindeer moss on the entire thing. Once the egg sign was completely covered, I took some ribbon, this lace ribbon, and then this blue ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and I just laid it all out nicely so it looked like a little striped egg, and then I did hot glue the ribbon right to the egg, and I thought this looked really cute, and I did end up trimming the ribbon down, but I thought this was like the easiest way to go to start actually doing this, and then just shaping the ribbon as I went. Get all those cold eyes cold looking But say it bye 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 I don't wanna talk before the moment slowly slips away And then I just grabbed a stick from my yard and tied some twine to it and then I just wrapped the twine all the way around the stick. And then I just hot glued the stick right to the back of this sign and then I got this little burlap vase from Burlap Fabric around Christmas time and I have quite a few left over. I thought this would be such a perfect DIY to use it for and I had some floral foam from the Dollar Tree and then I added some plastic bags to this so it would secure this and then I did add reindeer moss to the top of this as well. I think this is a cute little Easter egg topiary. I am like really obsessed with them so you'll probably see me make a few more in some of my Easter and spring DIY videos. But that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. 
It was super, super simple to make. And then I just added a little bit of ribbon just so I had a little more color. Take guys enjoyed this video and if you did like it make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel I would love if you hit that subscribe button so you can check out more of my videos and my DIYs to come for Easter and spring but I will see you all in my next video bye